good morning. We're just starting our journey out to the wine uh, region here in Burgundy. Oh, we've already got a stop on the head. Good morning, we are just setting off from Bonn. We are doing our bike wine route today. We're heading south from Bonn and hoping to hit a couple of wineries along the way. Look at all these buildings, they're so beautiful and stone and this is the cutest village. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> it's the first town. <laughs> small French village we've ever been to. It also is the only one, but it's the cutest. There's pretty much wine everywhere you go here. Started in Bonn, and we're on our way to Mersol. So this village we're coming up on, we think is called Mersol, and we are gonna see if we can have some lunch there. It's a larger village, so we're hoping there's some good choices. quick orientation to what our plans are for today. We are staying in Bonn and we are going to be biking along these towns all the way down hopefully to Santenay and there depending on what time it is we'll either train or we'll bike all the way back to Bonn where we're staying for the night. some fuel and uh, all the restaurants are really highly priced so we went to a patisserie or a bakery got some quiches a salad and a uh, giant apple pastry so that's lunch for about the price of one entree well, we just finished our lunch from the bakery <laughs> and I might regret that 80% butter uh, croissant apple thing that I had with my salad. It made me feel better to get a salad on the side. I felt like it was healthy. Uh, I don't think it matters when we're biking this much. P.S. It's looking like we might get a little bit of rain, but what would a vacation in France be without a little bit of rain this trip, apparently? Bill says it's not gonna rain. We'll see. It's not gonna rain. <laughs> a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am holy? We worked pretty hard for this apple that Bill's eating. All of the ripe apples from the bottom of the tree are picked. <laughs> 
So we did it the old-fashioned way by me climbing Bill's back and nearly killing both of us. <laughs> Occasionally you do actually come up to a road. Mostly we've been on dedicated bike paths. Take you back to so Heather is uh, having such an easy time with her e-bike. She's decided that the low, medium, and high uh, electric settings are like changing gears. So she's just calling those gears now. While I'm huffing away, trying to get up the hills. I think I might want an e-bike too. I'm remembering the words you told me. Back where I belong. I want it all. Big uphill, huh? Yeah, I'm actually catching my breath. On your e-bike. I have e-bike range anxiety. I'm nervous I won't be able to make it back with the electric. And you got four lights out of five still? Yes. I don't think you need to worry. <laughs> if you want exercise, that's a different matter. No. Well, we just started our journey back. Uh, we're trying to hurry it up a little bit so we won't do a lot of filming, but the reason we're trying to hurry up is we've got a date with a wine tasting. Or at least I do. Heather may not have any, but we'll see. All right, go ahead and take a sip and tell us what it's all about. This is where I pretend to know a lot about wine, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> so I'm having a Chardonnay Grand Cru. And as I understand it, in this region, there are four grades of wine, Grand Cru being the uh, most desirable. And I thought I'd give it a go. Yes. Pretty oaky, very dry. Hmm, now it's a peach. <laughs> That's good, it's peach. <laughs> Well, here's the current situation. We're running a little bit behind today. We had such a good time biking that we didn't really stop. And uh, we did stop. Bill managed to have that one glass of wine. He downed it in 15 or 20 minutes. So this could be an exciting bike ride. We have about 50 minutes to do a 40 minute bike ride according to the Google. And that means absolutely no stopping, which is a bummer. So we'll see whether we make it back in time. Our bike shop actually has our bags. So if we don't make it back, mm, that's <laughs> really bad. all of our stuff will be locked up in a closet overnight. So we have to make sure we get back by six. So we have good news and bad news and a bummer. The good news is we made it back safely to pick up our luggage. Uh, we were late and that's the first bad news, but we called ahead, let them know we'd be about five minutes late. Uh, the bummer is that the camera that we use to film with is behind me on the operating table and Bill is the surgeon. Trying to fix it with butter knives and credit cards. We film with a product by DJI called the Pocket Osmo, and it is a tiny gimbal camera that's attached to a handheld um, section, and it works really well, but it is a little bit susceptible to being bent out of place uh, if it takes a little tumble, and it took a really big tumble 
We were uh, in a hurry to try to get back and it flew out of our bike basket where it had been all day with no problems, but it was no match for the streets where we were going up and down on the sidewalks and the streets, um, which is where the designated bike path is. So Bill is currently behind me trying to fix it. I think the prognosis is not looking good for the patient, so we will have to figure out an alternate solution for the next week so that we can keep filming some fun things that we have coming up, a region that I'm really looking forward to. So you might see a little bit of a change in our camera and our audio quality. Hopefully we figure something out for the next week. This isn't the end of the world. There are clearly much bigger things going on. Well, just an update on our patient. Bill worked diligently on him last night until 10.30, and at 10.30 p.m., we pronounced our DJI Pocket Osmo no longer yeah, with us. <laughs> it is what it is, so we're gonna head to an electronics store this morning and see what they have for us, and hopefully we can come up with a Band-Aid solution for the next week. <laughs> Yay! <clears throat> Well, we're back. We walked 15 minutes to uh, an electronics store only to find out it's under construction and not actually open yet. A uh, 15 minute walk back gave us time to evaluate our options and we decided we're gonna go out and enjoy Bonn and use the equipment that we have to record some of it so that we can remember it later on and also so we can share it with you. We realized we left off yesterday's video a little bit abruptly due to our camera mishap, but we want to circle back and talk about how much we enjoyed yesterday's bike ride. We both enjoyed it more than our time around on Sea Lake. Um, although that one was really nice, it was incredibly busy, and yesterday we practically had the bike paths to ourselves. And it was us and the farmers and maybe 12 to 20 other people. I mean, it just wasn't very crowded at all. Uh, plus it was fun to see the farmers working out in their fields and we felt like we were part of the countryside and we really experienced the vineyards in a different way than if you have a car. You could really smell the sweetness of the vineyards and the flowers that were blooming nearby and we would not have had that if we were in a car. So if you come to Bonn, we would very highly recommend getting a bike and enjoying the vineyards. Uh, we also biked about 50 kilometers. For me, I don't think I would have made it without an e-bike, so I was very grateful to have one. But Bill was completely fine on a regular bike. Again, he is the biker in our family of two, and he says if you bike, you'd be fine with a regular bike. Also, the paths are really well signed, and as you're biking along, just look for these little green and white bikers, and they'll show you where to go. Stop when you need a glass of wine, or when you get tired, have a rest, and pick the signs back up when you're ready to get going again. We're wrapping up here in Bonn. We've really enjoyed our time here, and we really enjoyed especially the outdoor activities, which is a bit of a surprise. We weren't expecting, uh, I, re I guess, that much to do. All in all, we would really recommend this area, especially if you love biking, red wine, and Chardonnay. And if anything else, we wish we had just one more day. Bill didn't get to taste quite as many wines as he wanted to, and actually I realized that I forgot to tell you why I'm not able to enjoy many of the wines here. So instead we'll share that in our next video in the Alsace region where I will be having many wines. We think we ran into the team from Men in Black. Also the signs are incredibly well uh, signed. The signs are well signed. Does that make sense? What the? Did I just get pooped on? No. Am I not? Something fell on me, I swear. You did not get pooped. Bill just and it's got good, pooped on. And it's good luck anyway, so you say. No, I swear, I just got pooped on. Right. <laughs> I did actually get, just get pooped on <laughs> did. by a bird. Uh, it was on his back and not his face. Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> Heather got pooped on in Portugal. On my face, yeah. it hurt. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.